Hi everyone, uh, this is a quick video just to bring you up to speed with the latest updates that were released for the Divi Builder. Now this update got me really excited because it makes it very easy to resize, add padding, add margins to your elements on your screen. I know right now it may sound uh, a bit confusing, so let me show you what it looks like on your website. So what I've done ahead of time is I've already gone in and I've updated Divi, so it's running the latest uh, Divi. Now the other thing also I want to talk about is if you want to learn how to design professional websites using Divi, I have have a course which you can access absolutely free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. So let's dive in, let's get started, let me show you these updates. I'm sure you'll really, really like them too. All right, so I've gone ahead and um, loaded up my uh, website here with a pre-made layout. So let me show you what you need to do. So this update allows us to go in and add margins, paddings, and um, you know, in a, in a much easier way. So as you can see here, when I put my mouse over here, you see that bar that's showing up there? That means we can drag things that way. If I go inside, you can see again that uh, we have minimum height there. Currently it's set to auto, but uh, you can also um, readjust that. Now I've just moved it slightly lower. Now this is the thing. This uh, update is very very precise so you need to be very precise when you uh, when you try to uh, use this um, uh, this update so over here you can see I can add the padding inside and this is all on four sides as you can see it's showing there so what I'm going to do now is to show you quickly how you can start adding your uh, your uh, padding so I'm going to do it on this yellow one here because we want this to look slightly bigger than uh, the other two on the sides. So this is just a design thing. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, I'm just going to add some padding on the inside like that. So as you can see, as I'm dragging this, this is increasing in size. Okay. Now what you may not notice there is we have this chain, but unfortunately it is behind this plus button here, okay? Now, with this chain, if you click it, it applies the same um, size both on the top and the bottom. Now, I'll show you again where you can find this chain when you go into the settings panel. Right, so as you can see, we've just made this uh, slightly bigger and we can also do this to the sides as well. So I'm gonna go in, add some uh, padding to the sides. I'm gonna also do it here like that. Now my chain has appeared again. I'm going to click on that. And now, as you can see, we have the same size on both sides. Okay. So this is something that you may want to do if you really want to make sure that everything uh, is proportional. So now that I have this, uh, the other thing that I may also want to do here is to drag this upwards. So, um, so that the height is slightly above the two on the side. So let's do that. So as you can see, as I'm dragging, I've just repositioned this. So now if we take a look at that, we've just gone in and changed how that look visually. So this is one of the key, key uh, updates that I really like about uh, what DV has done in this update. Okay, so now let's move on and let me show you something else. So let's say I want to add negative margins. Now I really like this uh, way of designing my uh, layouts. So let me show you how to do that. So when I come over here, let me add a brand new section. So I'm gonna click this plus button, click on regular. And I'm just gonna add a single um, column. And in that column, I'm gonna add a video, okay? I'm gonna select it. So by default, we are going to get this placeholder uh, video. So what I'm gonna do quickly here is just to come over here and add an overlay image. So I'm gonna click this plus button. And then I'm just gonna choose an image to add on the overlay. So I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with this image here, okay? I'm gonna click upload an image. So now my image has been applied to my video as the overlay image. Now we're not done yet here. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna save this, okay? Now let's try and make some customizations to this. So first of all, my video is way too big. I would like to make it slightly smaller so that I can uh, re, so that I can, it can fit my uh, design properly. So I'm gonna go in again, drag this inside. As you can see, as I'm dragging, it's making my video smaller because I'm adding padding inside. And then I can also click this to apply the padding to both sides. So now that I'm pretty much happy with my sizing here, what I'm gonna do next is to drag this row up into the section above. Now this is negative margins. Now if I haven't mentioned this already, this feature can be applied on sections rows and modules. So every time you want to apply padding or margins, you can do this to any section row or, mod or, or um, modules. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here 
And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna make sure I'm on, on my mouse pointer here is position and then drag this. Now, as you can see, I'm automatically adding my negative margins. So now if I take a look at my design, my video now has been um, added above there. Okay, so let's come over here to the bottom and then what we can also do here, in fact, let me show you where these changes are being applied. So if I click here on this uh, settings, I'm gonna click here on design, spacing. So this is where my values are now added. So as you can see here, this was the 65 that's, uh, that, that was added here on the top and the bottom and then 53 on the left and the right. And to prove that that's where it's happening, if I drag this, you can see here that uh, this has the same effect. So why is this important? So this mainly saves you time from uh, doing all your adjustments in the uh, settings panel. So you can just do it visually and uh, just achieve your designs faster that way. Okay, so if you wanna come in and make specific tweaks, you could come into the settings icon, I mean, into the settings tab, but to be honest, you don't really need to go there. Everything can just be done here visually, okay? So um, let me show you something else that was added here. So if I come over here to sizing, you'll notice that we have extra items added here. So we have content width, so we can play around here with the content width for our designs. But what is really interesting here is max height or max width. So you can specify on a module section or row uh, the maximum height of this module or this item can be. So let's say the maximum is 500. So whatever you do and whatever device, it will just stay there on that 500. So it is great. And also, uh, not only can you do that, you can actually, so let's say we set a maximum width here, okay? So uh, let's say this is a uh, 90%. I can still go in and set my my sizes here. So as you can see uh, here, I can align this module and also change the size over here on the tablet. I can also go in and change the size over here on the um, mobile device. So again, I'm gonna drag this or I can increase this to fill the page. So you, can, you still have that flexibility of going into the three views, making your changes there to make all your designs look great on mobiles, uh, tablets and uh, desktops. So I think this is a really, really cool feature. But um, to be honest, this is more like a time saver. So it saves you a lot of time as you're designing your website. And this could be something very quick you wanna go in and do. So this is why, where you can just come in, uh, add your mouse on top of the item that you need to, um, to move. And that just um, creates your, uh, your layout right there uh, before your eyes, before you even go to your uh, settings panel. So this was the latest update. I'm still playing around with it to see what other designs I can come up with. So I will be sharing more uh, of uh, how to use this effectively in future videos. And before I uh, summarize this video, if you want to learn how to design professional websites using Divi, I have a course which you can access absolutely free by purchasing Divi. So all you have to do is to use the, uh, the link in the show notes below. And once you've purchased Divi, you can just let me know and uh, via email and I will give you access to the course. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I just thought I'd uh, fill you in on the latest update from Divi. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.